this woman, Joy of the Lord, has got the, sh the sheep running scared. She's just full of heresy and damnable doctrine. She's saying that you're not going to get raptured if you don't have tongues. Well, I don't speak in tongues, but that's not even the truth. Jesus says that you must be full of the Spirit, which is His presence, because you're in a relationship. So you create, you know, um, the presence of the Lord, and that is being filled with the Spirit. And she's got these people so scared that they're asking, Joy, please, would you send it to me? How? And there's another one. Joy, how do you buy oil from those that sell? Who is selling that oil that you can't buy? She's just confusing these people. And you need to really watch who you're listening to because this is just not even right. She just conjures up all this stuff and it's not even like biblical. So be wise and get wisdom. Go to God the Father yourself and and no one else. You know, most of this um stuff on her screen is just bird crap on the on the, the lens and she's making it believe like um there's a storm in the area or there's a millstone and it's just totally false and she's just riling up the sheep. It's more like she's a uh, just a goat. A goat riling up the sheep. And she better knock this off. Because God because God really cares about the sheep and he is dead serious about his sheep and how you present the gospel to him. This is not the gospel. And um, you know, Mark 8 tells us why does this generate generation ask for a sign truly I tell you no sign will be given to it and in Luke 11:29 it says this is a wicked generation it demands a sign but none will be given it except for the sign of Jonah um you know and she's looking for signs in like earth cams and this is just wrong and she's preaching a wrong wrong doctrine confusing people sowing seeds of doubt you know people just need to come to the Lord and it's so easy it's so easy just to come to the Lord just to it's a heart's cry you know and then just to truly seek God what does the Lord require of us what does the Lord require of us What does the Lord require of us? Micah 6, 8 tells us, with, with what shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before God on high? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with the thousands of rams and ten thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgressions, my sin, the fruit of my body, for the sin of my soul. He has told you, oh man, what is good and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God. And that's a daily thing. You gotta lay down your, you gotta lay down your, your life and pick up your cross and follow Him. And that's what the Lord commands. And the Lord also says that we need to be living sacrifices, you know, and um, these are the things that the Lord requires to be a living sacrifice. And it's not always about um, manifestations and signs because according to, you know, Mark 8, 12, no, no sign will be given to them. So just be careful who you listen to because they're just feeding your heart and your mind with seeds of despair because they're telling you it's supposed to be one way but God is merciful and if you're continuing to seek him he he knows he knows those who call him that he calls by name
So please take this and um, and ponder the thoughts that I just to told you, so that um, you're not led astray. Don't be listening to these people. You have to go to the Word of God and listen and read it and listen in your heart for yourself. Don't keep on going to anybody. You just go keep on going to God. God hates it when. When we have we set up idols and go to people and get a word from them, get a word. You need to have your own relationship and get your own word from the Lord. All right. Well, be blessed and seek God in all things. Thank you.